Hi students, welcome to this video session. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka. In this video session, we shall continue uh, our study of similar figures. So this is similar figures part two. Okay, let's solve more practical applications of this. Uh, question six. We have the trapezoid. Trapezoid A, B, C, D, E is similar to trapezoid F, G, H, I, J. So this trapezoid is similar to this trapezoid. Okay, they gave us F, G. F, G is 20 centimeters. Uh, G, H is 25 centimeters. H, I is 5 centimeters, 5 cm. Uh, IJ is 10 cm, 10 centimeters. JF or MJ is 30 centimeters. Okay. And then they gave then they gave us AB, AB to be 10 centimeters. They, they said we should find the perimeter of the small trapezoid. This is 10 centimeters. Then we should find the perimeter of the small trapezoid. Now this is a small trapezoid, so that means we have to find all the sides of this trapezoid. We have to find BC, line segment BC, line segment CD, line segment DE, line segment AE or EA. And then we add it up. Perimeter means the uh, total distance round, okay? the, the sum of the total length or the sum of the total sides. Okay, so we can, you know, uh, some people will do this mental math. Mental math. Okay, this is 10 and this is, this is 20 and this is 10. So that tells you that, you know, this is similar figures. That tells you, remember with similar figures, the ratio of the corresponding length or the ratio of the corresponding sides are equivalent. So, on a mental math, if you don't want to waste time, okay, 20 divided by 10 is 2. Um, 20 divided by 2 is 10. So they divided this length by 2 in order to get 10. And that will go to other corresponding sides as well. Now that is a quick way to solve it. Let's do it that way and then I will teach you the, uh, the normal way to do it. So uh, 25 divided by 2 will give us what? 12.5. Uh, 12.5 centimeters. Um, 5 divided by 2 will give us what? 2.5 centimeters. Um, 10 divided by 2 will give us 5 centimeters. And 30 divided by 2 will give us what? 15 centimeters. So we can go ahead and um, we can actually go ahead and add this up to find the perimeter. So the perimeter will be the perimeter of the small trapezoid of the small trapezoid will now be 12.5 plus uh, 2.5. Okay, this gives us what? Let's do this one at a time. Okay, so this is a 10 one. Okay, one plus two, three plus two, five. It's just this is 15. Right? Then plus 5.0, this is 20.0, plus 15, this will give us 35.0, plus 10, and this will give us 45.0 centimeters. So the answer is 45.0 centimeters. And of course, guess what? If we add this other one up, the perimeter of the Big trapezoid. 25 plus 5 is 30, plus 10, 40, plus 30, 70, plus 20, 90. That gives you twice of this. 2 times 45 gives you 90. You see the joy of having similarity in figures. Okay, this is a quick way to do it. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, I mean, if you do it this way, I will, I will accept it. Okay? Now, but the good way, I mean, the the more detailed way to do this is to come over here, you say trapezoid, trapezoid, and A, B, C, D, E 
is similar to trapezoid FG dash IJ. And then all you need to do is now you do AB, AB over FG will give us a BC over GH because we can find that BC which is equal to CD over HI you see that? then equal to BE over IJ and that will also be equal to what? EA over JF so you, you know, this is the thing that you establish the similarity yeah Establishing the similarity, and then you pick it two at a time. You pick it two at a time. Like we know AB, right? But we don't know BC. Now we know AB, we know FG, and we know GH. But we don't know BC. So we now say AB, which is ten. We pick it two at a time. Two at a time. AB over FG equal to BC over GH. So the AB is ten over. Uh, FG is 20 equal to BC is what we want to find over GH is 25 so we do cross product cross product will now give us a 20 BC will now give us um, 10 times 25 right so BC will be 10 times 25 divided by 20 Right, which is a 250 divided by 20, which is 25 divided by 2, which is 12.5. Remember to put the unit, remember to put the unit 12.5 centimeter. So, this is the way you will do it two by I mean, two at a time to get the length of all other ones. Yeah, you just need the entire length of this and just one length of this, and then you can find the uh, other length. So, I want you to do it on your own so that we save time on this video. Yeah, but if you do it two at a time, okay, you can use AB over FG equal to CD over HI in the next one, in the next phase. So, do it two at a time and you will get the answer. All right, uh, let's go to question seven. Question seven says, a man who is 90 inches tall casts a 60 inch shadow. His daughter casts a 20 inch shadow. What is her height? Okay, so we, um, let's say we have a man, right? Let's say we have this man here. Right? This man um, casts a shadow. The man is a. Uh, the man is uh, how many inches? 90 inches. You know what? Let me break. Let me have more space here. Yeah? So let's say we have this tall man here. 90 inches tall. 90 inches. And he casts a shadow. A shadow. So let's say his shadow is here. His shadow is a 60 inch shadow. 60 inches shadow. So now we have the daughter here. The daughter is how many? Uh, we don't know the height of the daughter, but the daughter can say 20 inch shadow, which is smaller. 20 inch shadow, of course, which is smaller. So the daughter might just be this. So let's find the height of the daughter. Let's call it H. Okay, let's just find the height of the daughter. So this is the man, 90 inches, cast. A 16 inch shadow. It's just like when you stand in front of the sun, you look at your shadow, right? You look at your shadow. I don't know. Have you have you ever observed it? You stand facing the sun and sometimes you cast a shadow. Okay. Now let the height of the daughter be h. Let the height of the daughter, height of the daughter, be h. So now, these are similar. This is another application of similarity, similar figures. We see that 
90 over 60 is equal to h over 20. Yeah. Or you can say 60 over 90 equals to 20 over h. Because this is similarity, similar figures. Okay, the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal or are equivalent. Okay? So we have that 60 times h is 60h is 90 times 20. Right? So uh, 60h is equal to h will be 90 times 20 divided by 60. Okay? So uh, 20 into 20 is 1, 20 into 60 is 3, 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 90 is 30. So H will be 30 inches. So the daughter's height will be 30 inches. Okay? Uh, now let me uh, erase this so we can do system A. Okay, first of it says hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F is similar to hexagon G, H, I, J, K, L. Find the length of H, I to the nearest term. If this is this. Now, let's draw this hexagon. That's when it will make meaning first. Let's draw the hexagon. So let's have a hexagon. Now, if a hexagon is six, six sides, right? So we can have one. One, so draw a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's call this uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. This hexagon. And let's have another bigger one. Not the same size. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Okay. So uh, this is a G H I J K L. Now, one good thing about this is that they gave you the similarity already. So A B corresponds to G H B C. Corresponds to what? H I. You see that? C D corresponds to I J. You see that? I mean, they give they gave you the similarity already, so it makes it easier to solve. Okay. Now they gave us B C to be 14 inches, so this is 14 inches, and they gave us an F A to be 20 inches, 20 inches. And LG to be 8 inches. LG is 8 inches. So they say we should find a HI. HI, this is what they say we should find. Or let me call it P. Why don't I just call it P? P. That's what they say we should find. So if you look at it, you will see the similarity already. I mean, you can easily say it. I mean, assuming you don't draw this, assuming you don't, you can draw this and see it 14 over 20 equal to P over 8, or you can just get the similarity from here right away. Right away, you can get the similarity from here that this is AB over GH equal to uh, BC. Over HI equal to now we don't need AB actually. They, they give us a FA, so FA equal to FA over if it's FA, then it's going to be LG. LG. I mean, it's so much you can write on the uh, ratio of uh, corresponding lengths. Okay, so. This is actually the only thing we need here. So you can do this from the similarity, or you can do it from the uh, from the figure the, directly. Okay. 
So we shall have wear with shoes. Let's get it done. So this will be what now? We now have that uh, BC, which is 14, over uh, HI. This is H. HI. BC over HI. HI is P. So I would just say let line segment HI be P. That is what they are saying. That is what they are asking us. So BC here over HI is equal to FA over LG. And FA is 20 over LG is 8. Okay? So we have, and if you, that, that is if we are doing with the similarity. If we are doing it from the figure directly, we can just say 14 over 20 equal to P over A. Okay, or we can say 14 over P equal to 20 over A. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be about the same thing. We can even say P over 14 equal to 8 over 20. Remember the video we did on proportions. Yeah. So this means that 20 P is equal to 14 times 8. So P will be 14 times 8 divided by 20. 2 into 20 is 10. 2 into 8 is 4. Now, 14 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16, carry 1, 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, 5, 56 over 10, and to the nearest tenth, of course, this is 5.6, you make sure you put the unit, 5.6 inches, and that is it. Okay, now, let's do the last but not the least. Triangles D, E, F, and I, J, K are similar. The ratio of a side of triangle I, J, K to a corresponding side of triangle D, E, F is 5 is to 3. The length of triangle D, E, F are 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches. Find the perimeter of triangle I, J, K. Now, if, let's solve it two ways. Let's draw it and say it visual. Visual learners, let's draw it and see it. And then we can now, now they gave us the similarity, so we can also do it by similarity. Okay, visual learners, let's look at it this way. We have triangle DEF, right? And we have another triangle IJK. And they told us that, they, 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 they already told us the similarity is that triangle DEF is similar to triangle IJK. Okay. Now they said that the ratio of a side of triangle IJK to a corresponding side of triangle DEF is 5 is to 3. So we can kind of do it the other way around. Okay, the ratio of, now, in, instead of doing DE over IJ, this means the ratio of a side here to a corresponding side here is 5 is to 3. So, IJ over DE is 5 over 3, that is one side. We can also say that uh, IK over DF is 5 over 3 and we can also say that uh, JK over EF is 5 over 3 so let's get it done now let if we start with the first one IJ over DE uh, meanwhile our length length of the triangle DEF are 12 inches uh, 18 inches and 24 inches. Okay? So let's get it done. So let's find IJ first, right? So we have that IJ over DE is 12. Is equal to 5 over 3, right? So if you cross multiply, 
This means that 3ij is equal to 12 times 5. So ij will be 12 times 5 divided by 3. ij will be 60 over 3. 60 over 3 is 20. Or you do 4 times 5, 20. 20 inches. So our ij is 20 inches. 20 inches. Then the next one, IK over DF. Now DF is what? 24. Is equal to 5 over 3, right? In this question, they gave us the ratio. We just have to find the size. Okay? So 3 IK is equal to 5 times 24, right? So IK will be 5 times 24. Divided by 3. 3 into one, 3 is 1. 3 into 24 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 inches. Okay, so IK is 40 inches. And you can kind of see, if you do 20 over 12, you find this, if you simplify it, it's 5 over 3. If you do 40 over 24, if you simplify it, it's 5 over 3. Because 6 into 40, um, uh, 5 into 40 is 8 I'm, I'm sorry, 2 into 40 is 20 2 into 24 is 12 So you have 20 over 12 You do 2 again 2 into uh, uh, 20 is 10 2 into 12 is 6 Right? So you have 10 over 6 Then you do 2 again 2 into 10 is 5 2 into 6 is 3 Okay? All right, then uh, the next one, the last one, right, is JK. So we say that JK, JK over EF is uh, 18, is equal to 5 over 3. So 3JK is 5 times 18. So JK will be 5 times 18 divided by 3. 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 18 is 6. So JK is 5 times 6, 30, 30 inches, 30 inches, and if we check it, 30 over 18, right, 6 into 30 is 5, 6 into 18 is 3. Thank you so much students for listening, have a great day. Okay.